old, I was a normal, well, I wouldn't say normal, but I was a precocious two-year-old old babbling and talking, and my mother decided to buy a uh, toy for me at the Army Surplus Store, or Surplus Store, and uh, she bought a two-pound uh, bottle of mercury and gave it to me as a toy. So I started playing with the mercury, rubbing it all over uh, copper sheets, making mirrors. I rubbed it all over my body. I drank it, drank some of it. I, I played with it till that two pounds was gone. So you move forward about 30 years, and uh, my friend Dr. Abraham said, let's do a, a hair analysis to see what kind of heavy metals you have in your body. And the lab called him back and said, is your patient ambulatory? And he said, why? And he, they said, your patient has the highest amount of mercury ever detected in a human being in history. What it did for me is it made me uh, fully autistic. And I stopped talking. And my brother said, that's because I didn't have anything to say. But uh, we moved forward till I'm like five years old and I hadn't said a word, nothing. And when I'm five years old, I start talking again, but I stutter really badly. Uh, I stuttered so bad that no one would play with me. All the kids shunned me and wouldn't play with me because I stuttered so bad. And so my mother tried um, different stutter remedies, uh, such as putting pebbles in my mouth and things like that. None of that worked. Finally, uh, and you know, and she and my brother made the kids play with me even though they didn't want to. And so, <clears throat> the, finally, what was happening is that the thoughts were coming so fast and furious in my head that they were it was like overwhelmed. And trying to take all those thoughts and break them down into words didn't work. For me. And finally, my mother said to me, she said, why don't you try thinking just the words you want to speak and repeat them in your mind over and over again and then try speaking them. And I did, and I was able to talk without stuttering. But the result of that is that when I talk, I have this halted speech because in my speech patterns, I will stutter like crazy if I don't control my speech and flow of thoughts. And so the result is that uh, while I'm talking, I stop talking and so forth in order to assemble my thoughts. And that's been that way all my life.